So let me introduce you to this question. This was sent in to me by a student online. Uh, they needed some help with um, ratios and they were struggling and they came across this question, which I thought would be a good one to share with you guys. So have a quick read of this question. We've got two identical jugs. Each contains some juice. The ratio of juice in the first jug to the ratio of juice in the second jug is 5 to 3. If Muhammad pours 170 milliliters of juice from the second jug into the first jug, then the jug would be full. But if he pours 630 milliliters of juice from the first jug into the second jug, then that jug would be full. What is the capacity of each jug? Now, I know a lot of you reading this would be very confused with where to start. I mean, where do you begin a question like this? And I talk about scaffolding a lot in a lot of my videos. And this would be a fantastic question to actually understand how scaffolding works, how you build up a question. All right. So sometimes when I come across a question like this, a ratio question, it helps me if I have some sort of a graphical image that I can look at and refer to. I mean, you don't have to do this, but it's quite helpful. So let's go ahead and draw two identical jugs. Right, so here we have two identical jugs. We'll look at this drawing part in a second. Let's go ahead and highlight the question. So first of all, what's my mission? My mission is to find the capacity of each jug. All right, that's what I want to know. And because both jugs are identical, I just need to work out the capacity of one of them and it will be the capacity of both, okay? So I know that I have two identical jugs, each containing some juice. And I don't know how much juice is inside but it tells me that the ratio of juice in the first jug to the ratio of juice in the second jug is five to three so let's write this down shall we so we have jug one and jug two and we know it's in the ratio five to three what we don't know is how much juice is inside and as you can see from my diagram i've just put some juice in there okay that's how it looks by the way these are two identical Okay, I'll explain why I did the second one in a second. All right, but just focus on this one for now. Okay, so jug one has some juice, five parts. Jug two has some juice, three parts. Now, because I don't know what the total is out of, I don't know how many parts it's out of, I'm going to write 5x and 3x. Okay, so that's where we're going to begin. We're going to write down this ratio 5x to 3x. Now let's go ahead and read more of the question. It says, if Muhammad pours 170 milliliters of juice from the second jug into the first jug, so from here into there, he's going to pour 170 milliliters of juice. Okay, then what happens? This first jug would become full. All right, so let's have another scenario. Let's add to our ratio here. Okay, so that would be 5x, which already is inside here, remember? Okay, in jug one, there's already 5x, and now it's going to be increased by 170 milliliters of juice. So, what can I do with that? I can add to this 170. Okay, now if we read the second line of that paragraph, if he pours 630 milliliters of juice from the first jug into the second jug, then that jug would be full. So from here, we can pour 630 milliliters of juice. So what happens? The second jug is now inheriting that 630 milliliters of juice and making that full. Okay, so this empty space that you have here in either of those jugs, so in this case, this will fill that up, right, and make it full. But what does it mean for this? You probably guessed it. It would be 3x plus 630 all right so this is the algebra that we've just uh, set up now how do we look at this well let's focus on here for now okay this is representing when both jugs are at their maximum capacity okay therefore if the jugs are identical remember it told you that in the question if the jugs are identical that means the maximum capacity of each jug would be identical to each other too, right? So we can make an equation by doing 5x plus 170, the first jug at its full, equal to the second jug at its full, which is 3x plus 630. Now all we have to do is solve this and find x, and x represents 
here and here obviously so let's go ahead and work this out so what do we do first we take the 3x over to this side we take the 170 over to that side that gives us 2x and 630 take away 170 we could do that on our calculator this is from a calculator paper by the way so 630 take away 170 gives us 460 and then we divide by 2 so 460 divided by 2 is 230 ml now we have found the value of x right so x is obviously this value here and this value here but we are not interested in x when it's over here because this was part full okay we are interested in x right here okay we're going to substitute the value of x in here and we're going to find the maximum capacity so we can use any of these two equations because both of them represent the maximum capacity so the capacity of any jug let's just use um, i don't know the 5x um, plus 170 we're going to use that one so 5 times 230 plus 170 and that will give us the capacity so that is 1320 ml so the capacity of the jug is 1320 milliliters and there we have it hope you like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please share this channel with your friends and family see you in the next one guys bye for now